Today we have Patron of the Art Mont Blanc homage to Montezuma, limited edition 4810. Beautiful box art with the Mayan pictographs. Let's go ahead and open it. Every Patron of the Arts comes in with this beautiful lacquer box. As well as the information pamphlet. This pen is model paying homage to King Moctezuma I, the one that ushered in the golden age of the Aztec Empire. And the pen barrel, the pen is supposed to simulate the Adol Adol, one of the common weapons of the Aztec age. It's a beautiful lacquer box. This is edition number 1815 out of 4810. Here. And here's a pen. It is a very unique pen in that it is the longest barrel I've ever seen. It's shaped like the adult. adult. The way it works is that <clears throat> these two finger holes is what you would put your fingers through. And this cap is the arrow at the tip with a red garnet. And you basically use you would fling it forward like this, and I would launch the arrow at your enemies. The color of the barrel is the color of their Montezuma royalty. It's very precious turquoise color. And you have the year of his reign for Montezuma I here. The cap with the Mont Blanc in them and the sundial. <clears throat> and this is supposed to simulate the obsidian blade used for their sacrifices and ceremonies. Now, the way you open this, you actually have to twist the cap here. <clears throat> and now comes the barrel of the pen. Incredibly long pen. And it comes in this carmine red, this gold-plated handle. And it is definitely a smaller nib for sure. At the tip, you see a cactus to symbolize their Aztec empire. Now, the piston mechanism is you twist the barrel here. And because you have to twist this to get it out, in order to activate the piston filler, you actually have to pull out like that. And then you can activate the piston mechanism. And you push back in and it's secured again. Obviously, this is not going to post it is way too big of a cap. <clears throat> it's definitely a very artisanal piece. Very comfortable to write with, although a bit impractical to use in daily life, walking round to round. Can't imagine carrying something as big as this in your shirt pocket. Uh, it's definitely a desk pen to display in your office. One of the gripes I have about this pen is that at the end here, the tip of the arrow extends beyond the base. So you can't really set it on the top of your table because it's going to fall over because of that tip. I think if the tip wasn't there, I think it would be pretty cool to kind of stand this on your table like an addle addle. But otherwise, very beautiful construction. A little bit impractical, but definitely a beautiful display piece.